You did so beautiful. Um, I just want to say good afternoon, friends. It's so good to have you here. Welcome to our annual Christmas play production. Um, you will find that our program tonight will be somewhat different than the usual programs you may have attended in the past years. Your imaginations will need to be turned on, and this, rest assured, is the goal is that this program, the Christmas message, will be clear, that you've got to have your listening ears on, and here's some questions to ask yourself. Number one, how would TV or movie superheroes react to the birth of Jesus? What might the shepherds and angels be like if they were from 2023 or the night Jesus was born? We are going to take you on a kind of back to the future journey where old meets new and the new meets old. But the true story of Christmas will be revealed. This progr program has a couple of scene changes. So it will take a few minutes and we're going to do some Bible trivia with Miss Abby. And so get your thinking hats on. I hope you have been listening to your preacher, Sunday school teachers, and reading your Bible. So sit back, laugh when it's funny, but pay attention to the serious parts too. We hope that through our program, you will see the true meaning of Christmas and why Jesus came to earth. superheroes to order. Uh. As some of you may have heard, there's a rumor going around that a new superhero is coming and he gets his powers from the big G-O-D. I've heard the same thing. What does this mean? We saved the earth. We have been here for years. What does this guy think he's doing? Do we even know if this is a guy or woman? Doesn't he or she know that saving the world is our job? Apparently, this guy guy has a connection with all of us and that he loves the world so much that he's going to give us his son to save us from the villain of sin. Who is this sin? I don't know this evil villain. Batgirl, is he one of your arch nemesis? No, I don't know him, but I know I could probably take him down and I'm better than this new guy. <laughs> Do we know when this new guy is supposed to show up? <laughs> I've heard as early as December 25th. That's tomorrow. This means we have to act fast, follow his weaknesses on. Ooh, what if he has a sidekick? We have so much to do. Well then, we better start tracking this big guy down. I'm so tired of this walking thing. Only a little bit farther, Mary. I'm sorry. I didn't know that every inn would be full and that you would have to travel in this condition. Don't get huffy at me. Nobody asked me if I wanted to come to Bethlehem or if I wanted to become the mother of God's son. Well, I, 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 yes, dear, I know, but how did that go again? You were so frightened when you came to me. Well, an angel came to me in Nazareth and told me to get excited because God chose me to bear his son. I'm to call him Jesus. I was so scared. But then the angel said to not be afraid, because this means that God will always be with you. I'm still nervous and unsure about this whole thing. What if I'm not right? What if I'm not going to be a good mother to God's son? Mary, 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 stop your worrying and breathe. God chose you for a reason, and he chose me as your husband for a reason. sure knows how to hide himself. Or maybe he's in disguise. I'm tired of looking. I wonder if he has any weaknesses. Good question. We don't know that yet either. I'm going to ask these fine people over here. <clears throat> Excuse me, fine citizens, but do you happen to know of a new superhero? A new superhero? No. Joseph, have you? Or... Oh my goodness, are you really Superman and, and, and Captain America and, and Spider-Girl and, and, and... Oh, get a hold of yourself. No, we have not heard of a new superhero. 
But do you have a place where we could stay? Apparently all the inns are full. I know a man down the road you could ask you. You could ask if he knows of a place. Wow, you guys are all my heroes, and you save the world like every day, and you're right here right now. Yes, we know we're pretty powerful. <laughs> oh my days, do you have a baby? Yes, I'm due almost any day now. It may even be tonight. Oh, well, there's nothing better than a baby. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl, what are you going to name the baby? It's a boy, and his name will be Jesus. So sweet, adorable, cute. Well, my feet are getting sore. I think we'll give that man with the stable a try. But good luck with your search for this new superhero. Oh, what she said. Go up with the baby. Maybe. Hello, my name is Meredith, and uh, we're going to take a quick break to change up the scene. And I, we have a little game here. So I have a few Bible trivia questions for you. So this is going to take some participation from the crowd, which is y'all. So we have some prizes for these. So I just need you to raise your hand. Do not blurt it out. Just raise your hand if you know the answer. So the first one, we're starting off really strong here. What is a manger? Somebody's going to have to raise their hand. Anybody? Oh, Chloe, what's a manger? You put a baby in it? That's good. That's good. So a manger, um, they actually use it to um, feed animals. So it's an animal trough, but you get a prize. It's just for you. Good job. All right, so next question up. Um, I really need y'all to participate in this. This is a really good question. What is the name of the town Jesus was born in? Oh, in the back. Yes, ma'am. Bethlehem, good job. I have a prize just for you. Y'all are doing really good at this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask the next, next question so maybe some other people can get some prizes. Um, let's see. What sign did the shepherds receive that led them to baby Jesus? Oh, yes, right here in the red. The star? It's not. It's the shepherds. Does anybody know? The shepherds. Anybody? Yes, ma'am. The angels. Yes, good job. You get a prize. All right. Um, hopefully you all are warmed up by now. Um, we're going to come back and do some more questions in just a little bit so maybe some other people can get some prizes. Thank you for your participation. job is so boring. I mean, nothing exciting ever happens. I mean, I got friends that work at Starbucks. At least they get free coffee. What do I get? I get to watch over my flocks by night and shovel sheep food. <laughs> oh, come on. It isn't that bad. It's a clear night. Just look up at the, sky, just look up at the dark sky full of stars and really appreciate the wonder that God created. Oh, you're one of those God people. Well, yeah, I guess I am. I don't know, but I have heard that God is sending his son save us from our sins. Mm-hmm. You got that right. <laughs> who, wait, who is that? I know karate and another for these. Better question, <laughs> where are you? I'm right here. Do not be afraid. I'm an angel of God. I bring you good news. Beyonce called. She wants her sequin clean back. <laughs> Beyonce ain't got nothing on my side. But I have some amazing news to share with y'all. Jesus, the Son of God, was born tonight. Rejoice! Emmanuel, the Savior of the world, was born tonight here in Bethlehem. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Where is he? Can I go see him? Yes, please do. Follow his star by night and you will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. 
I don't know what swaddling clothes means, but I guess when I see the baby, I'll know I'm in the right place. But why, what does this mean? Why is this baby such a big deal? God sent his son Jesus so that we could be forgiven of our sins. When we do bad things or make bad choices, we are sinning against God. When we sin, we are moving away from God. But God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus so that we could be forgiven of our sins. It's called grace. Isn't that amazing? Wow, God's love is amazing. I know this, congreg I know this congregation in Avalon, North Carolina, who knows a thing or two about that grace stuff. They have some crazy pastor who's always talking about it. <laughs> but I still don't know how sending a child is going to help, though. How's he going to stop me from sinning? Jesus is coming to help us build a relationship with God. He will be a way for us to see God and know he loves us. So no matter how far away we try to move from God, Jesus will be a reminder that God will love us no matter what. But seriously, get a move on. The star's right over there. First an angel, now they're superheroes. Maybe this job isn't so bad after all. <laughs> I don't know anything about a new superhero. But I did hear God, someone's born tonight. Wait, did you say God, son? That's our God! <laughs> Whoa, well, Spider-Man, we haven't been searching for a baby. What can a baby do to save the world? I don't really... Get it either, but let's go see. I just want to see this super baby god, whatever. All right, it's time for another round. I hope y'all are all really excited, and I just want y'all not to all raise your hands at the same time this time. Okay, another question. We're gonna go back to um oh no we're gonna change it up we're gonna do a true or false are y'all ready okay great all right the story of the little drummer boy was found in the book of mark raise your hand true or false yes yes right here false good job all right everybody give it up for him give him a give him a round of applause all right here's another one guys I think y'all can get this one. You have some options. What was just one, just one of the gifts that the wise men brought? Just one? Yes, back here. G good job. <laughs> All right, a prize just for you. Let's see, we're going to do one more question. Um, let's do another true or false. So true or false, the barn animals talked the night Jesus was born. True or false, anybody? Any hands? True or false? Yes! Oh, good job! <laughs> I protest that answer. <laughs> On the star, they talk. <laughs> You're welcome. Can't you tell there's a baby sleeping here? Well, yeah, but it's going to take our jobs and, and, and all 
but he's so cute. <laughs> yes, he is. And what is this about my son taking your jobs? Well, we heard that Jesus is this new superhero coming to town, and that he is going to save the whole world from sin. I thought that no one would eat us anymore, but it's just a baby, so we have nothing to worry about, guys. Phew, I was getting worried. So were they wrong? Is Jesus just a baby? Well, for now he is, but God has great plans in store for him. One day he will grow up and save us all from our own sin. Yeah, we heard all about that. An angel came and told us not to be afraid because Jesus was born. And he was going to be bringing us grace. You know, you're starting to sound like one of us church people now, too. Well, maybe I am. Maybe, could I come to church with y'all sometime? So, we love... We love... No, we know the perfect place. We love our church and youth group at South Island. We love that. Hold on, hold on. So Jesus, so Jesus is, is it going to take over my job? I still, get, I still get to go out and help people? Of course you can. God loves us so much that he sent his son to die for our sins. Jesus is the only one that can do it for us. So when you go out and help people, you can tell them about Jesus' power, God's grace, and unending love for us. Wow, okay, I think I could do that too. Stop right there, mister. I can help you right now, citizens, but Jesus could save you from your sins for eternity. And I can tell them about God's never-ending love for them. I'm so glad you all came to see Jesus and that now you will spread the news of Jesus and God's saving grace. save the day, and every day for all eternity is Jesus. And thank God he's the only one needed.